Continuing coverage tonight after two sexually explicit books were removed from a Lexington school library. 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh is working for you to highlight both sides of the controversy after last night's school board meeting. The controversy lies on whether or not these books, which are now removed, named It's Perfectly Normal and Kiss Number 8, are appropriate and should be in the Lexington City Schools. The meeting was a way to hear the public's opinions before taking action through voting. In the end, I, you know, I, th I think we saw overall where the Lexington residents uh, stand. And um, so I, I think by frankly listening and making sure we're casting a very wide net for those public comments, uh, we can in the end have a pretty good sense that, you know, what we're hearing are Lexington voices. Superintendent Rebecca Walters told 10 News the matter was initiated from a parent expressing concern, which led to another parent sending a community letter. The public comments were mostly in favor of not banning books. If you read the novel, you would understand the context of the one and a half pages that were taken out of context to make this sound like it's an anti-Christian vulgar book. It is not. It's not sexually explicit. By this document draft, this belongs in your library. Others were concerned about these books being offered at the library. Middle schoolers, the minds of adolescents are highly malleable and strongly influenced by what they think is normal, cool, or attention-getting. This is why what's in a book matters. Study after study has shown that exposure to sexual themes and material has a disproportionate effect on adolescent behaviors and attitudes as compared to an adult. The updates are set to be voted on at the November meeting. I'm Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.